In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. Off day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of In Full Zoom. I'm Master Licanto, and this uh, week we're going to talk a little bit about a new program at uh, GCC. Well, I don't know if it's new, but it's, it's a program. It's called Show and Sell, and uh, joining us here is uh, Gene Cepeda, who's going to introduce uh, uh, the rest of the group here. Go ahead, Gene. All right, half a day and good morning, Guam. How are you? Um, so we have Austin Hawkog, and he is in my social media class, and Connie Villegas. She's also in my social media class. And uh, the two ladies at the bottom that are running the event, that are coordinating the event with the rest of their class is Pauline Manabusen. She's also the vice president of our marketing class called Boss. And uh, then we have Brianna Iglesias. Yes. So um, we are really, really excited to bring this to the campus and to the rest of the island. Um, our show and sell is going to be um, quite different. Actually, not quite different, but just something that the community has not seen on campus yet. So we're really excited. All right. And let me just go through each of uh, the, the students here and uh, ask them to uh, just uh, explain a little bit about uh, their involvement and what their products are for the upcoming uh, show and sell. Uh, and uh, let's start with you, Austin. Hi guys, my name is Austin Hukuk. I am a participate a participation a participator for this semester's buy and sell for GCC. My product is actually a service which is chat reading and it is mostly available through Instagram at my ad at AJ Readings. Tarot reading. Oh, that's interesting. What, tell, tell us a little bit more about that. So my tarot reading services is to provide advice to people who feel like they're lost in what's happening nowadays in their life. With this pandemic going on, I feel like this business could really provide not only profit to me, but help and assurances to others who feel insecure about how their life is going out. And my services are not limited to just looking into the future. It could also help you advice on things that are happening now or to help move on about things that still tie you to your past. All right. So, sorry, I had to move out of camera there for a second. <laughs> Little technical difficulties. So how did you get in, uh, okay. into tarot reading in the first place? What brought you? What, how'd you get interested in that? So... I was actually interested from watching a documentary during my middle school years, but I didn't really actively do it until my high school years. At first, I thought it was just a fun party game, but then afterwards, when I got comments saying on how accurate it was, and then I got some people telling me to continuously do it, I started thinking like, hey, this is something that could actually help more than just me. So I decided to continuously do it until I finally got an opportunity to profit it off of it and market it as a for sure business during my marketing class with my teacher, Ms. Cepeda. All right. So who wants to go next? Pauline or? Connie. Brianna? Okay. Connie? Yes. Well, um, half a day Guam. My name is Connie Villegas and uh, I currently own CRV Garden. Um, I'm currently a student at GCC, taking supervision and management. And um, I'm selling plants, live orchids, uh, garden supplies online through my Instagram, Facebook, and I have it on my website too. So currently I'm doing meetups and curbside pickup by appointments only. All right. And so I imagine that you have a green thumb and you're very much into uh, gardening. Is that how you got your idea for your business? Yes, yes. It, it started as a hobby 15 years ago. And I just started uh, propagating my cattleyas. And like two years ago, I decided to open my business. And what is it about gardening that you enjoy so much? It's a... Uh, it's a, st a stress reliever. It's yeah. it's uh, it's it really en enjoys me seeing all these flowers in my garden, and you know it makes me relax. 
Yeah, and is that uh, something yeah. that uh, you would kind of like, that's how you would market it to to your potential customers, yeah? Yes, yes. What would you, what would you tell them though? Say, say I, was, I, I uh, was interested, how would you sell me? Well, if, if you're interested with, let's say, when my number one seller is the Cataleas, uh, I believe I'm the only one propagating here on the island. Uh, I call it the Snow White and no one brings in that kind of, of flowers here in, in Guam. Yet, uh, I, I know nothing about it. What is a Catalea? <laughs> oh, What's so nice about Catalea? Uh, <laughs> Cataleas are, are originally from, uh, from um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, from, <laughs> I forget the country. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, from, well, well, anyway, uh, it, it grows also in Asian countries. So mostly the, the, the um, you know, they, they would get it from, uh, from uh, Thailand, from uh, Singapore, Taiwan also. But, um, well, when I started Growing up, growing the cataleas here in in Guam, and I didn't expect it that you know it's 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 gonna be turn out like you know that I'm gonna be oh having this uh, business to start it with with those kind of flowers. And is there a big like catalea following? I know like uh, one 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 thing I do know is about orchids because my mom was big into orchids, and they've got a huge following, right? You know, it's like a almost like a, an art form for them. So is, this, is, is it similar uh, with the Cataleas? Uh, well, there, there's different kinds of, of orchids. There are like dendrobiums. There's also polynopsis, like different kinds. There's there's varieties of orchids that, uh, well, people will, will say that Cataleas are hard to grow here in Guam. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. uh, compared to, to uh, other uh, like dendrobiums and palanopsis, those are just like you know uh, uh, orchids that are common here in, in Guam. Yeah, that was imported from from Asian countries. In full zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises Inc. and IT and E. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and it &E. All right. Who's next? Go ahead. Uh, Brianna? Or is that, mm -hmm. that that's the two students, right? Are, are you a student also? Uh, we're students, but we're coordinating. We're not selling. Okay. All right. Tell us about uh, the coordinating. How did how did um, you guys get involved in that? And um, what are some of the things that you've had to prepare for in anticipation of the, the program? So how we got involved was our wonderful teacher, Ms. Zapata. <laughs> she, uh, one day in class, she just came up with the idea and she's like, do you guys want to do something really cool? And all of us are like, what? What is <laughs> And then she, cause we, this stemmed from a previous event we had last semester called um, Pave Your Way. And that was a, um, that was a recruitment drive for the potential high school students that were already in GCC courses and plus other high schoolers that were interested. So we had a certain, we had a section of the event called Show and Sell where we just had some of our students that uh, Ms. Cepeda had or some of the alumni and students that had businesses showcase. So when she presented this, she wanted to make it a full-blown event because that small section of the Pave Your Way recruitment drive was so successful that she thought it was a good idea to branch it out to the whole school. And so when she introduced it to us, a lot of us thought it was a really good idea. So we were passionate to make it a reality. All right. And Pauline, uh, talk a little bit about how you reached out to students to get involved and um, participate in, in the show. Um, so I was part I'm part of like the registration process. Um, I created the job form and um, we started um, recruiting people through Instagram. Uh, we posted about it. it. It's it's a lot of posting 
basically, <laughs> but um, I, I came up with the form and um, we actually did this as well as um, in Pave Your Way. So it was, it was familiar to me. And yeah, basically everyone in our class is just all organizing this event. We all have different parts. Um, some of us are getting quotations for things like t-shirts, um, printing, printing flyers. Uh, some of us are just putting together the ads, videos. So it's, it's great to see us all come together and coordinate and actually work with a team because this is stuff that you deal with in, in real life in in a real job. Sure. No, that's interesting that you say, you know, use um, social media because back in my day, um, printing flyers was pretty much the, all we could do. But uh, have you found that, um, that social media is the most effective way to reach um, the students these days? Or is it a combination yeah. of, of all those other things? I think, I think social media is one of the, one of the, better ways, I guess, now to, to reach, um, to reach students, because most of us are online, especially now that, um, you know, we, we do have online platforms for, for classes. Um, GCC also has their own Instagram account. So um, you can always get updates on what's the latest news in school or what to look out for. So I think it's a great platform, most especially Instagram. I, I feel like people are straying away more from Facebook, but um, Instagram, I think, is um, one of the better ways uh, to communicate with students. Yeah, I think the Facebook is becoming more for the older folks, right? As as more older folks um, uh, joining, join a platform, the younger folks uh, move to another one <laughs> to avoid us. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Gene. Uh, uh, so uh, tell me about um, how um, this uh, benefits students. How'd you, why'd you come up with this? Um, when I started teaching social media marketing, um, it became a let's pretend you have a business type of account, right? Um, and then as I started teaching it and uh, I figured, you know what, why not have these students make money? Why pretend to make money? Why create a feel good account? Because everyone, you know, all those memes about um, feeling good for the day, uh, have a good day type of account, those don't make you any money. Let, let's face it, we need to make money, right? With the pandemic, uh, maybe with the, uh, and these students don't have the qualifications to work yet. So have them find their passion, like Connie's passion is flowers uh, and Austin's is, is tarot reading. And then just make money from that. I don't teach how, I don't teach them how to take better selfies on Instagram, <laughs> right? Um, it is a lot of product uh, photos. You got to take photos of your product. You got to do tutorials. You have to do collaborations with your other classmates and, and with businesses. Uh, and that's all part of my course and how I want them to teach because let's face it, when they walk out of here, they need to know what it's really, really like right, out in the workforce, right? If they come to you, okay, Mr. Licanto, can I get a job with you for my practicum? All right, let's put you into social media. All right, how much money do you want to start making? How much, how much of a, a target audience do you, want to, do you want to capture now? Right, they need to understand a lot of those things. Um, and then just being on Instagram for the sake of scrolling and, and trolling, right, doesn't make you any money. Um, and let's face it, businesses are on Instagram, right? Ever since the pandemic, more so now. And other businesses are finding it easier and easier. And, and, and people like, like Connie and Austin are finding it a much easier way to ease yourself into business without having to think about rent, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, getting a brick and mortar place, uh, clearing land and, and having a, a huge nursery, right? Let's start small. And then if they so choose to go into um, uh, a brick and mortar business, then so be it. At least they understand how to market themselves and their products and their services. So it's been a learning experience for me. Um, I think the, the feedback that I get from students at the end of the semester is, they appreciate learning how to be in the real world, like Pauline and Brianna, 
putting an event together, right? This is their second one. And so when they graduate and their boss asks them to do, okay, let's do a launch. Let's launch a new, um, a new product. What do you think? Oh, they got it under their belt already. They understand that. They know where to get close. They know how to speak to people outside of class, right? They know how to deal with people even through email, right? Just how to word that. So we're, we're still in academics. You still have to understand the principles of marketing, right? But let's also put it in their hands, literally put it in their hands. And um, I feel proud that many of my students are, are actually saying, thank you, finally. I mean, I put them through a lot of stressful uh, assignments, but at the end of the road, you know, and I keep telling them, once you go through me, your your boss, piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mentioned the pandemic, and I was going to ask you about that. Has the pandemic kind of accelerated the shift towards uh, the, the use of social media for, for marketing? Absolutely. You know, uh, when the pandemic hit and I wanted, I really wanted a burger and I was asking my son because he's on, you know, he, he knows these things. He goes, oh, let's go to Stax, right? Stax is down in Agania. And uh, at first we didn't know how to order. We just drove up. We saw instructions. I go, okay, then we order online. We're right outside their door, but let's order online because that's the only way you were going to get the burger. You couldn't go in, right? And then there, uh, and then all the delivery services, and even just to get uh, iced tea, a ding tea, you had to go through a delivery service, right? Um, when so, my son runs a tennis academy, right? He's running it now. Um, my husband Joe is now over at Guam Football, and so Josh does a lot of his marketing on Instagram. We actually have um, a student from last semester who took over the Tennis Academy of Guam social media. And she's actually still on board because we haven't finished the tournament yet. So that's where everything is. She doesn't have to come to the tennis courts, right? Or maybe just once a week to take photos of the, at the tournament. Um, a lot of the communication is on your phone, right? It's just easier for a lot of people now. It's easier. So if Pauline had a business, I go, okay, what's your Instagram account? You know, if you had your business, the first thing, okay, what's your IG handle so I can find you, right? And then follow you and look at your services. So it's amazing. Um, Ignite Bar, the juice juice company, right? You order through them. You just put, you know, they have this app called Clover and you just place your order. You know, no need to go in and wait, but it's just convenience, really. It's convenience. And for the safety of everybody, right? You feel a lot better that way. So... Yeah, Instagram, uh, social media platforms, um, Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I'm not that old, but I'm on Facebook. And, and that's what I teach them, right? Where's your target audience? If, if Connie's uh, audience is on Facebook, then heck, that's where you advertise, right? Um, if, if Austin's is going to be al always on Instagram, then use it because that's where your target audience is. So it's it's not what, oh, what is better. It is where are your people. Yeah, where are your people at? So go go to your customers, yeah. In full zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises Inc. and IT and E. GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. Okay, Austin, so, so what have you learned so far and uh, what, what, did you, what did you hope to learn? What That's I hope to learn in social media marketing is really how to get a wider range of target markets. Because so far, I have been able to get more online orders for tarot readings, as well as continuous questions for what kind of readings they wanted. But I really want to learn more on how to market for different target audiences because I don't want to just limit myself to just one pool of income. Yeah, and, and is a tarot, tarot, tarot reading something you can do online or it has to be in person? 
Oh no, it can be online. Okay. So all I really need for to do a tarot reading is just for you to ask the question and I'll be able to give you the answer within one business day of you messaging me on AJ readings. Okay, is, uh, let me ask you, is the uh, pandemic gonna be over this year? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Connie, uh, how, about, how about you? Um, so wh what do you think uh, the benefits are and how has uh, it benefited you? Well, um, going into the GCC program, especially with uh, Mississippi Pettis class, well, I, I learned a lot. Uh, just from uh, previous uh, that I took from visual communications and now the social media marketing, that's uh, really uh, uh, taught me how to, to do all this advertising online. Uh, I'm not good in, in Instagram, but my kids are. But, you know, as she mentioned earlier, uh, Facebook, uh, yeah, mostly, most, uh, mostly of my, my customers are, are Facebook uh, users. And, uh, you know, with this Instagram, well, I, I pick up, actually, I pick up uh, a few more, maybe like 20 uh, customers trying to, you know, to get more information uh, just uh, when we started our project on, on Feb 1st. So already this 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 weekend or tomorrow, I already set up some some meetups to to do some deliveries. Yeah. So well, it really helps me. It's it's this it's the social media marketing. It's it's really helping, you know, uh, doing all this technology and learning all this marketing, it's, 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 it's really a, a huge difference compare like 15 years ago. Absolutely, as uh, Mrs. Cepeda said, you know, the shift has been accelerated by, by, by the pandemic. And I think it uh, uh, behooves all entrepreneurs to uh, learn as much as they can about the uh, social media marketing. On that note, uh, let me ask uh, Pauline and, uh, to talk a little bit about um, how, um, how, how someone is going to uh, avail of this, uh, this show. Okay, so um, for students who are interested in uh, being a part of the event, uh, having a booth, um, you can register online uh, at gcc.showandsell. So that, that's, um, that's our Instagram handle. We have the job form linked in our bio, and uh, we also have a QR code that's up. Um, and for anybody who's interested in attending the event, it's on February 23rd, um, starting at 10 a.m. Uh, and we're gonna go through 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So um, it's open to the public um, for those who want to come and check out the booths. All right, and Brianna, make a pitch. Why should they, why, why should they come? Okay, so uh, I believe why you should come. I think it's a really great opportunity for especially students my age to see what's possible and what you can do independently now. Uh, because before, I would say before social media really uh, kind of blew off, everyone's perception was you needed to do a nine to five corporate job. But every single day I'm seeing more and more possibilities of what you can do. I see people making livings on being YouTubers and social media influencers and people having successful businesses on their own. So if you want to see, I would say if you want to see the possibilities to what you can do and what you're to not limit yourself is to come to our event. Yep. And you brought, since you brought it up, I was going to ask your, your teacher about this, but since you brought it up, I think it's, it's a very interesting point that uh, it seems like more and more people, and maybe because of the pandemic too, are uh, gravitating away from a regular nine to five job into entrepreneurship through the use of social media. Do you see that, Brianna, more? Oh, I see it a lot more. I'm seeing people of businesses I didn't even know was possible uh, happen, like people starting their own makeup lines and doing, creating their own uh, fashion lines. It's, it's just really cool to see what's ha uh, what can happen because of social media. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. 
GU Self Storage, conveniently located near the Harmon McDonald's. We offer affordable rates, online payments, and auto bill pay for your convenience. Plus, gate access daily from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Call us today at 648-7867 for more information. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E. Yeah, and it, it provides the, the ease of access, I think, you know, as opposed to like a brick and mortar. There's so many uh, things that are involved in setting up a brick and mortar business. But social media just kind of uh, uh, eliminates those sorts of barriers and makes it a lot more easier to, 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 uh, to get into business uh, that way. And uh, so uh, let's wind it up with you, Gene. Comment, can you comment on that? And also talk a little bit about um, the business and visual communication department get you a Give you an opportunity to pitch your your department <laughs> sure thing um i just wanted to throw in that although this is a face-to-face -face event we are limited to 80 people inside the mpa so we will have our students making sure that uh there are there we don't go over that number just to keep it safe and the boots are going to be uh, spaces that each of our uh, participating students are going to create on their own so Connie can create her own little garden. Austin can create his own little um, uh, space with a table and his cards. So that way we, we stay within the uh, safety protocols, right? Uh, with hand sanitizers and all that. Um, so the business and visual communications department, my favorite department at GCC um, is accounting, marketing, supervision and management and visual communications. And so one of, one of the models that I came up with for our department is we are in every industry. Even though if you're a one person, uh, one person show, you have to be the accountant, you have to be the marketer, you have to uh, supervise yourself, manage yourself, and of course, come up with your, your ads, okay. right? Your, your photos, your videography, um, go into a bigger corporation, the more you know, the more that you can put out, um, businesses are, you're, you're more likely to be employable, right? Uh, so I tell my students like, like uh, Brianna and Pauline, you'll become more employable if you double major in marketing and visual communications or accounting and supervision and management that we have some students in marketing and accounting right? Because you become more employable. It's, it's you want to hire someone next year that is uh, like the 13 in one USB hub, right? Why just buy one, you know, why buy one photographer, one videographer, one content creator, one, one supervisor, when you, if you can get them all in one, right? You get more bang for your buck that way. But uh, so being part of our department, you really are in the uh, core of every single business and with social media, the, the platforms that are coming up, uh, everyone needs a content creator, right? If you want to be, if you want to do your business on, on social media, you need to learn how to do that. But sometimes business owners, they, they have to take care of 10 other things, 20 other things that one person who can take care of their social media, they take photos, they take videos, they create their marketing campaigns right? Uh, that is what I keep getting asked for. Can you send me someone? Can you, you know, I need to hire someone. I need an intern, right? Because I take care of practicum students too and, and give them internships. So uh, the trend is I need someone who can do everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> everything. But everything is coming out of our department, right? All the skills from our department, that's the everything that a lot of employers want and need. So, you know, All right. if you double major, then great. Awesome. We, we are out of time. So we'd like to thank uh, Pauline, Brianna, Connie, Austin, and of course, Jean Cepeda from uh, the Guam Community College. And everyone, you're invited to go see the show and sell uh, later this month. I'm Nestor Lacanda. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week on In Full Zoom. Thanks for having us. Bye. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. In Full Zoom is presented by Calvo Enterprises, Inc. and IT&E.